guys, so I wanted to do a review on the Wedding Paper Divas sample um, invitation pack that you can get, um, but I want to make a disclaimer. I am not getting married. I have no rings on my fingers. Um, this is merely for my friend, and I am her ma maid of honor, which I am very grateful and thankful to be. Um, we have been best friends since literally grade school, and I'm so excited to be in her wedding. It's just such an exciting time. However, I do wish I was getting married, but it's just not the time for us to get Mary, you're gonna see in your mailbox is something that looks like this, and this is the wedding paper divas, um, just little logo, and it comes in one of these legal flat rate envelopes. This is what the actual sample pack looks like. So, this is what it looks like it says ready, set, swoon. Again, I'm gonna leave, um, Wedding Paper Divas website listed down below as well as their phone number. It's listed all throughout here, but if you see anything and you just want to jump on and ask questions immediately, you can just go ahead and call or again visit the site and you can live chat with them every day, even on Sundays. The number is back here. I will show you guys that, but again, it will be listed if you couldn't see it very well. And then when you go to open it up, there are three different flaps. So there's this and then you open it up and there's some more stuff in there. So on the front of this, it just kind of says that it, everything is customizable, it's great quality, and they're available seven days a week to answer any of your questions. Um, and then it's got their website and their phone number again. So then when you open it up, uh, you see all of this. These are their paper samples. This is all of the steps leading up to make your invitations. And then these are the invitations that they provide to show you as a sample. Let's go ahead and talk about the invitations first, the ones that they are showing you. This is for 2015. I don't know how recent or how often they change this, but um, this is for merely 2015. Every single invitation that I am talking about, I will list in order the design name so that you can just go directly onto Wedding Paper Diva's website and go and look at it. Um, and I may link it, but I'm not really sure if I will because I have a ton of other things to do for my friend. Okay, so the first invitation I want to talk about is the is this one. This is the one that you first see when you first open this up. Um, and it's in Luscious Lacing. And this is in their Pearl White Shimmer Paper. Um, I'm not sure if my camera will do any of that justice, and you really honestly have to see it in person, I think. Um, this is shown in the color Umber, but again, this is customizable. Also though, you guys, if you are new to the whole wedding experience and you've never helped plan a wedding before, um, just because you don't like this design, doesn't mean that you shouldn't read how it's worded um, because that's a huge thing too. You either want to include your parents or you don't want to include them. It just all kind of depends on what you want to do. So how it shows the matching back um, as to what it would look like if you chose the matching back format. Included on every single invitation was the price the price range for this. I think that would be helpful. This one is called Modish Marriage which is their foil stamped design. These are from their premium collection or something like that. And I think that this is on their signature matte white paper. This is what it's regularly on. This one's shown in the black design and it just looks like so. It shows you the matching back as to what that would look like, but you can choose solid colors back here and we'll get more into that later on the design in Bordered Bliss, and this is shown in cha in Cashmere Pink, and um, this is on their signature matte paper, and this one just basically is your picture in the background of everything else, so I think that's a different design. Blooming Together, which is shown in the fuchsia shade, and again, here is the matching background for the one I just talked about. Here is the matching background for that one, and this is on their signature textured white paper is one of their laser cut designs that um, I'm pretty sure is on their uh, extra thick cardstock or matte, matte white paper. I'm not sure what exactly it's called. And this one's in violet, I believe. Um, but again, it can be customized. Very intricate laser designs and it's a very thick piece of paper. It feels very, very sturdy. And again, the word formatting on here is very different from the others. Okay. You also have two envelope formats when choosing from Wedding Paper Divas. So the first one is called the traditional Euro flap, and that's just a triangular flap here. And 
This is in the Antique Gold. Let me see. Huh? Antique Gold Shimmer. That's what this one's in. And then the other option is the Modern Square Flap. It's just very modern, very sleek, and this is just shown in white. So that's the two envelope style options and one of the colors that it does show you. For invitations, I think that the only thing that they should have provided were price ranges. Um, you don't have to go into depth of how much 100 was, but you need to say an account of 100, um, 100 being, you know, the cheapest at 150 and 500 being the cheapest at, or being the, not the cheapest, but 500 being, you know, I don't even know how much that would be, but you know what I mean? Kind of a range, not really saying this is how much, like going in depth, but just kind of showing a range of the price range. Left side here, it's got the five different paper options. Again, they showed every single option in all of the invitations, but this is also going a little bit in depth because let's say none of those were in the colors that you've chosen. So it's got every single paper option with ev with some colors to choose from, from all the color families, um, to see what it actually looks like, and also with a picture on the back. So this is the premium double thick matte paper, and that is what everything, look, that's what all the colors look like, and then a picture as well. The signature textured white paper just has colors, it does not have a picture on the back, so I'm not sure if you can't just, you can't get a picture or what the deal is. Um, the next one is the Signature Textured Ecru Paper, and this is more of an ivory shade, but it's exactly the same as the one I just showed you. Again, there is no picture, but just keep in mind when you choose this that the color is not going to be true to the color as the others. You know what I'm saying? The Pearl White Shimmer Paper is my absolute favorite, like, of all time, and you can get your picture on this one as well. And their Signature Matte White Paper shows the uh, colors and a picture as well. It's pretty much how to go about creating your invitations for your wedding. So the first little card here is just congrats and kind of talking a little bit more about everything else. And then they have some complimentary services and basically the complimentary services that they do have to offer are a person that's going to look over your invitations, make sure there's no typos, make sure there's no red eye in any pictures that you might have on your invitation. And also um, they will send you a proof to make sure that that's what you want. They're basically just going to email it to you and you print it off and make sure that everything is okay and that you can print them out and have them shipped to you to be able to send out for everybody to be invited to your wedding. Um, there's also some special requests and you can also ask them about etiquette advice. Um, for instance, the special request might be there's no color on their website that matches the colors in your wedding, so you can ask them about that. You can ask them about placing text over a photo. You can ask them about including a wedding website. You can ask them about how to add foreign language and also um, if you could adjust the text layout. Um, etiquette advice could be um, how to word a formal invitation versus a casual inv um, invitation, um, how to address children versus no children, and also how to include deceased loved ones that maybe you want to um, memorialize for your wedding. That And then they just show you 20 different fonts that they have out of the 100 fonts that they have to choose from. They show you what the font is called and also what size it's in. They also show you it in words, in letters, and in numbers, which I think is very helpful too. So it's front and back, and they've got cute fonts. I really do enjoy these very well or very much so and then you can pick any kind of trim you want they have five trims to offer the only thing I didn't like was that they didn't show every single trim there were five invitations but they only showed four trims out of the five that they do offer the one that they didn't show was the scalloped trim but everything else was offered or was shown to you and given an example of, but not the scalloped trim. So I, um, I wish that they would have included the scalloped trim because um, if you are interested in having different bags, you can add either a picture, a mat the matching one, or just a solid color. Um, if you're wondering what each one is, this is a ticket, what is this, a ticket trim. Basically just means the corners are like indented, I guess is what it reminds me of. Um, and they showed two of those. This is the bracket trim that has these beautiful curves to it. 
and this is the square corners and this is the rounded corners so they did a good job showing all of those just not the scallop trim last step is the envelopes and basically they showed you a good idea of what both envelopes would look like um i just don't like the fact that it didn't include the envelope insert which is the envelope mint part where it's not just plain gold here there is some type of color that you insert and when you open it up there's either there could be black there could be white they do offer five colors for that there's a black matte pearl white shimmer platinum silver shimmer craft and antique gold shimmer which is what this looks like and there are also five different envelope colors um, white accru antique gold shimmer craft and platinum silver shimmer that they do offer um, so I think that's a good selection I don't know how many envelope colors you need um, but maybe if you wanted a pink envelope, this won't be the place for you. Uh, also, I wish they did a better job of showing the envelope mint formats. They did not show you invitation on layered card format. The one that they did show is the pocket folds, um, basically the way how they put the entire thing together, the whole book, which you saw which you saw at the beginning. Uh, but they didn't really show that, and it looks a little bit different from what the actual sample looks like. They do give you a good idea of what other things that they do offer, such as response cards, enclosure cards, hanging gift tags, and a belly band. Um, a belly band is basically just something to keep all of your cards together so they're not all over the place, and it just wraps around your cards and you can make it match your car your invitations. At Wine Paper Diva is, is a really good company to work with. I think um, that I get a pretty good idea of what this is all about and I can't wait to show my friend and see what she thinks about it. You can order one of these for yourself. They're completely free. You don't have to pay shipping. You don't have to pay for the sample pack at all. Um, and if you do go with Wedding Paper Divas, make sure to use the hashtag Wedding Paper Divas to show them what you guys are going through throughout your whole entire wedding experience. And I hope you guys are having a very exciting experience planning your wedding. I wish it was me, but it's not yet. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please just give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see me do some more wedding videos type, kind of explaining certain things, then please do let me know. And what would you like me to explain? Just let me know in the comments. Bye, guys.